Hi YouTube, this is my 67 Chrysler Newport and I'm going to show you in a multi-part series on how to rebuild this engine. Here's the bottom side of the 383 engine I was talking about. It's from my 1967 Chrysler Newport. Um, engine's clean, ready to go. The little bit of rust and a little bit of paint left over is not a big deal. Uh, what we're going to do today now is get the main crankshaft bearings installed and get this crankshaft set back in place and button the main caps back on. Okay, so we got the lower bearings or the upper bearings for the block. Uh, cleaned, they're ready to go and be installed. And two things I wanted to show you. Uh, one, these bearings are the originals from 1966. Uh, this car had 20,000 miles on it and the engine was very indicative of the, that mileage. Very clean, uh, very very low uh, bearing wear on the surface. Uh, so we decided to just reuse them. Didn't see any real problem with that and I talked with my engine guy. Um, and also to use a good assembly lubricant when you get these things in there uh, before you lay the crankshaft down. Okay, what I'm going to show you is the rear main seal. Uh, I talked with my engine builder and I'm getting rid of the rope seal that originally came in this engine. Uh, we're going to be installing the, uh, the new high-tech seal. Um, gets rid of the rope. Uh, we're going to put a slight bead of silicone in this groove this uh, outer groove for the channel uh, the channel for the seal um, so we're going to put a light bead of silicone in there Now I didn't go all the way up to the top because what we're going to do is going to offset the seal. Um, also I talked with my engine builder about this and his best opinion was to offset the seal in that groove in order for the two seal ends to line up perfectly. Um, when they're in the groove and the seam is right in line with the cut of the seal, uh, there's a tendency for this to not line up 100% perfect due to the variations of the aluminum that the rear seal retainer has. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to install this seal and offset it and I've got my mic set up at uh, 0.34 and then we're just going to offset it a little bit. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of silicone right in this groove where the seal is going to sit. Okay, I've got the rear main seal, got the top half, uh, I've got the seal installed with some silicone. I offset that seal the same amount um, as I did in the block, just on the opposite end. So I'm going to dry fit this, set this in the, in the block, line up that seal, and just kind of make sure that it's about, it's about right and it's going to crush down and push that seal in the same spot. So it looks good. What we're going to do is we're going to fill the rails of this seal surface and install these pipe cleaners because the old style um, gaskets are not available anymore. So what I'm going to do now is since we're going to install the seal and we're going to put some silicone on that surface, I'd like to get the crankshaft installed, the rear main uh, bearing uh, at least in place 
and the seal cap installed in the block. Um, that way at least I can tighten that down and the silicone will have a chance to cure uh, hardened in a position that it's going to stay in when the uh, bolts are tight. Um, so at this point we're going to drop in the crank, get that rear seal taken care of and at least the rear main cap installed. Now that the crank's installed, what we're going to do is get some silicone um, in the corners and a little bit up the side walls of this ceiling surface. Okay, we're going to get the rear main in place. Um, got the bearing and got the rear main cap all cleaned up. I guess we'll shoot a little bit of lube right on the journal itself. Smear it around. And your main caps on this 383 will get bolted down to 85 foot pounds. Turn the crank a little bit. Feels good. It's going to put a drop of oil right on the seal surface for the rear main seal. And then we're going to put our cap on. We're going to fill the fill the void and try this for the first time. I've never done this before, so it should be interesting. Overfill it just a little bit so it piles out.
So you can see it's over the top of the surface. Do the same on the other side. And now we'll try sliding this down in place. And if I'm correct, it'll probably get silicone pretty much everywhere. Engage the seal. Put a drop of light oil on the bolts themselves. Kind of clean up our mess a little bit. Chrysler book calls for a 30 pound torque on the rear main seal cap bolts. So we're going to set the torque wrench to 30 and then alternate. Tighten it a little bit. Now, what you're supposed to do is uh, slide these uh, pipe cleaners down into those grooves. Um, talk with my engine builder about this. He likes to smear some silicone right on them before you put them in, just to get them wet. Um, so we're going to heed his advice on this because, uh, like I said, I've, I haven't done this particular seal yet. So we're going to drive it right down in there. And I'm already not liking this stupid seal because I can see daylight through that surface. So what we're going to have to do is, unfortunately I didn't really want to pull this flex plate off of here, but I guess I have no choice at this point. But we're going to wet this other one and cram it down in there. I really have no idea what these things are really supposed to do. So... Whatever. 
We're going to pull this flex plate off next. Now with the flex plate off, you can see what I'm talking about. Right in here is the seal surface, and you can see daylight right down through there. So I didn't quite get enough silicone in that side. Uh, this side actually looks pretty good. Filled up that void. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to backfill that uh, with some silicone and get that sealed up. Okay, as you can see now I backfilled that cavity. Pushed it in pretty good. So I was able to get some of that silicone to then ooze out the inside. So I think we're in pretty good shape on both sides. Um, left a little bit over on the top. That'll harden up and when I put the oil pan gasket on I'll just slice that off with a razor blade. Um, put a dab of silicone on with the new gasket. So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the mains uh, capped off and keep going.